Problems on the MBTA and commuter rail have plagued the public transit system. Frustrated drivers would love to grill MBTA bosses. And today, WBZ's John Keller gave them that chance, asking viewers to send him questions for General Manager Luis Ramirez. So, John, how'd it go? Well, Lisa, Liam, it went pretty well. There were far more submissions than we had time to get to. A measure of how troubled the relationship between the T and its customers has become. But the new GM is stressing responsiveness to those customers these days, and respond he did. JF tweeted, I would love to hear him acknowledge how filthy the stations are. It's appalling, some of the conditions. Uh, the, 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 the cleanliness and the lack of, of uh, just things that should be done a long time ago for maintenance. And Ramirez says they'll be spending more money on station cleanliness over the next five years. Rick S. emailed his frustration over unexplained delays, writing, any communication is better than none, and the Green Line train drivers are the worst. We've been training all of the operators, Green Line, Red Line, and, and Orange Line, and bus drivers, on how to communicate to customers when these events occur. It seems like such a no-brainer. Pick up, pick up your mic, your PA mic, and tell them what's going on. Why doesn't that happen? Uh, what we found is sometimes they're not being communicated to by us. Okay. In other words, they may not know what's really going on, and until they know something, they're not saying something. And John R. was one of many who raised the same question, asking in an email, why don't T officials use the services we are stuck using? I actually use the system every day, and I, I live in Boston, so I get to actually experience both the traffic issues and everything else everybody experiences coming in and out of the city. So for me, it's been an eye-opener to do that. Well, you're going to be hearing a lot more about public transit problems this fall as the Democrats have made it clear they intend to call out Governor Charlie Baker over what they say is the slow pace of MBTA reform. And judging from the volume of complaints we received ahead of today's interview, plenty of voters will be watching to see how Baker responds. Lisa, Liam. John Keller, thank you very much. You didn't have